Irish Illustrated's Instant Analysis. We just spoke with Marcus Freeman, plenty to cover. We talked about philosophy with him. We also talked about personnel. Uh, but, you know, it's really interesting some of the phrases that he uses. He says it's, the, it, it's football, not football, when he was talking about the aggressiveness of his defense and how his players like it, and yet they can still be very fundamentally sound. And we hear the players talking about that, not, not so much worrying about gaps as much as it is getting to the football. And I think that's what it, where his expression of football, not football, comes into play. He had a lot of positive things about Tariq Bracey, which is good news. I know for a lot of Notre Dame fans looking for Notre Dame to come up with some help at cornerback, he says that Tariq Bracey has had an excellent spring. He also talked about Jordan Botello the defensive end who they're moving around to a variety of different places and how disruptive he's been and how violent he plays. In fact, Drew White, a couple of times when Jordan Botello has climbed up his back, has had to tell him, uh, you know, lighten up a little bit. Tim O'Malley asked a question about Drew uh, White and Bo Bauer being on the field at the same time, which was never something that Clark Lee felt was possible um, or, or wanted to use. But the philosophy of, of Marcus Freeman is get the three best linebackers on the field, cross train everybody and work from there. And it clearly looks like Bo Bauer is one of Notre Dame's best linebackers. So he can play at the same time as Drew White. With regard to Myron Tagovailoa Mosa, uh, good things to say about his work at defensive end, but he also mentioned that on third down, he's a guy, and this is something that we've indicated that they can bump inside so they can get the true pass rushers on the outside. Uh, sounds like MTA is also having a very good spring. With regard to Isaiah Foskey, uh, basically he's saying he needs to get the football IQ up uh, a little bit of Foskey, although he's made great strides uh, from week two to week three. Also, he was asked about if he wants to play with multiplicity within the same personnel or whether he wants to sub package that out he didn't necessarily answer that specifically but he talked about front multiple multiplicity and coverage consistency on the back on the front end they're doing a lot of things aggressively so uh, the consistency on the back end with the uh, coverage is very very important pete sampson from the athletic asked about uh, his recruiting philosophy and once again nordian fans are going to love hearing about this um you know he's in, in terms of being a recruiter, it's about identifying uh, players, which they've done for the 2022 season, developing relationships, and that's just simply out recruiting everybody. It's a common theme for Marcus Freeman, and we've certainly seen many examples of him doing that himself. So that bodes very well for Notre Dame with their uh, recruiting moving forward. He also had one other phrase with regard to Notre Dame, and he says, you know, and, and I think he's experiencing this as well. Once you're here, you wonder where else you would go. It's hard to, to uh, convince recruits, some of the recruits, that Notre Dame is the place to be. But once you get them here, whether it be for a visit and certainly among those that ultimately end up signing with Notre Dame, you wonder why would you want to be any other place in Notre Dame? So Marcus Freeman saying a lot of right things about the recruiting and what's happening on Notre Dame's defensive side of the ball this spring.